Hello ladies and gentlemen, Elijah Grimm here again. Today we're going to be talking about low level gathering and how it can help you gather a whole bunch of gil. Now, a lot of people making gil guides or showing off all these high level areas get this much dark iron nuggets or this much of this and I think you can make a very good bit of gil within the level 15 to 40 range. That's achievable for most people, and that's where a lot of people are kind of sitting, so that's where I'm going to stick with my little guide here. Now, let's see how much gil we made from last time. Now, as you remember, we made up a whole bunch of high-quality stuff, and uh, we threw up some of our extra stuff that we didn't really need, and yeah, looks like we sold a decent bit of it. Almost 200,000 worth. So that's really good. 7,280,000. That's not bad at all. Now let's see what else we have to sell. The cotton work gloves, the velveteen half apron. I'm going to keep those where they are as they are. This uh, diamite web. I'm thinking I kind of want to get rid of some of it. So, oof. Those are all going to sell out real quick. But look at this. 300 gil. 400, 500, so I think if we do 300, we could probably sell off, oh, 15, let's say. And then, we'll just have that one 17. It's a bit of an odd number, but, you know. It is what it is. Let me clean up my bags real quick. And we'll be on our way. The Diarmite Sinew. It doesn't sell for a whole lot. The cotton balls, the iron ingots, the silver. We can hold on to all of that. The Undyed Velveteen. I think I'm going to put that up for sale. Looks like it's going for a decent bit. Uh, we're going to do 475 And that should sell just fine. Okay, so. What am I going to be gathering? Well, I'm going to start off with my miner. And we're going to go from there. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you in a bit once I've gathered up all this stuff. It's going to take me a while. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, well, let's see here. Local time, 121. We'll see what time it is when I finally get finished. See you then. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Well, we did a whole lot of gathering. As you can see, we started off with some Illumin, Effervescent Water, Bomb Ash, Silix, Mithril Ore, Silt Stone, some almond seeds, and mahogany logs, and a time-worn leather map. So, let's throw this stuff onto our retainers. And see what we're going to make. So, first up, the Illumin. Leather workers need this stuff, and as you can see, wow. A whole lot of people dumping stacks of 99. But... Oh, well, there's a few people buying it for 99, but I think we're not going to sell it in a stack of 99. We're going to drop it to 450 and sell this whole stack of 40. And then we got the high quality Illumin. That's going for about 700 gil a piece. So, yeah, that seems about right. Uh, let's do 690. Now the effervescent water, alchemists, and I think culinarians also use this stuff. 
and not a lot of people buying in large stacks there are some but mostly they're buying in smaller stacks so I think 400 is a good price and we're gonna do stacks of 12 And then the high quality, we're just going to throw it in as is for, yeah, 500. Bomb Ash. This is a big ticket item. It's a little low here. But I'm going to do it for, oh, 475. And I'm going to do the whole stack of 42. And then the high quality, 900. Oof, that's pretty expensive, but people will pay it. Silix, Silex, however you want to pronounce it. Let's see. Well, people seem to like buying it in stacks of 99 recently. So, selling it in a large stack shouldn't be too big of a problem. I'm going to sell it for 400 and a stack of 40. The high quality here, 750. Mithril ore, a whole lot of stacks of 99. I can sell it for 550 for this stack of 30. And then the high quality. Again, a lot of people selling it in stacks of 99. I'm going to sell 6 for 650. Silt stone. Whoops. Move on to our other retainer. Saltstone, damn good price. And people like to buy it in larger stacks. So I'm going to sell it for $650, stack of $45. And the high quality, it's almost $2,000 per. So I think I'm going to do $2,000. Almond seeds. These are pretty expensive. They haven't been selling in the past couple of days. But I think about 4,500 is a good price. Mahogany logs. A lot of people selling in very large stacks. And I'm going to sell this stack for 300. And the high quality sells for quite a bit, 650. She's already selling one of my Time Warden leather maps. Let's see how much they're going for. Oof. Price has dropped significantly on those, so I might just pop this open myself later on and sell that one. The Times, uh, Time One Boar Skin. Let's see? Those are actually selling for a damn good bit. So I think uh, 46000 That seems like a pretty good price. The Grade 2 Lenotian Topsoil. Those are good prices. I'm going to sell it for 1800 
Then the Time Worn Gazelle skin. I'm gonna hold on to that. And that'll be it. So, all of this stuff was gathered from nodes that are level 40 and below. A lot of this stuff is stuff that crafters absolutely need to make furniture, to make potions, to make food, to make anything you can think of. Gemsmiths, armorsmiths, anyone who needs materials, they're going to be going after what I have in the market. And the prices reflect that. Those are very good prices normally. It may differ on your server. Every server is different. But for this one, I've been making some pretty good gill. And this stuff, that's going to sell no problem. So just because you're not a high level gatherer, it doesn't mean you're incapable of making gill. You just have to be smart, you have to watch the market board, and see what's in demand. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.